What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 mechanical keyboards under 50 bucks and you guys can find the links to all of these down below. Let's begin. For the sake of not repeating myself throughout this entire video, each of these keyboards have blue Altimu switches which are basically Cherry MX Blue equivalent. So first up on the list is the Eagle Tech KG011 which goes for 49 bucks. The base is constructed out of ABS while the backplate is made out of this brushed aluminum material which gets scratched pretty easily. Seriously, I've only had this for about an hour and there's already a mark on it. Other than that, the build quality is very sturdy. The keys do feature this high-tech style font which is pretty cool and also features a Windows lock key and 100% anti-ghosting. Here's a quick typing sample. A few things I don't like about this keyboard. It doesn't come with a wrist rest, only features blue LEDs which by the way you guys can adjust the brightness via function key and the size. While typing I'm not able to reach the backspace button which is pretty inconvenient. Also there's about 2 inches of unused space near the top of the keyboard which is unnecessary and contributes to the overall size of the keyboard. My overall rating on this keyboard is a solid 8. The things I like about this keyboard, aesthetics, build quality, numpad feature and the backlighting. The aluminum backplate with the white keycaps really looks nice and the LEDs are more intense due to the reflective backplate. The Sades K10 is the only other keyboard on this list with a full numpad. It goes for $49.99 and features a full ABS plastic construction with a gold backplate. It also comes with a Windows lock key and anti-ghosting as well. The keyboard is also the only one that I came across that has multiple colored LEDs. Basically each row of the keys has its own color and they are not customizable. So if you want an entire keyboard to be backlit in blue or red, then you're SOL. You can however change the animation and brightness using the function key. There are a bunch of different style of animations from a wave effect all the way to a spiral effect which is pretty cool. You could also change the speed of the animation by using the arrow keys. Here's a quick typing sample. The things I don't like about this keyboard, there is no wrist rest, you don't have the ability to change the colors of the LEDs and the ugly backplate color. I don't know about you guys but gold is a nasty color on keyboards. Speaking of colors, the backlighting isn't as strong as the Eagle Tech keyboard, probably because of the non-reflective and dark backplate color. The things I like, full numpad access, sturdy build and cable management. I love the fact that you have the option to route the wire in any direction you want, from left to right or even just keep it in the center. This is especially great for those that have a hole drilled in their desk because you can easily route the cable straight down for a wireless look. Despite the ugly gold backplate, I'm gonna give this keyboard a solid 9 for what it offers. These last three keyboards don't feature a numpad and are more compact. First up we have the Tomoko MMC023 which goes for around $38. The base is made out of ABS plastic with a metal backplate and it features anti-ghosting and key rollover and of course a Windows lock key for gaming. Perhaps its main feature is the fact that it's water resistant. You can pour an entire glass of water on it and it will still work without any problems. It also features three drain holes in the back allowing the liquid to pour out of the keyboard. Things I don't like. No numpad obviously, no LED backlighting and no wrist support. What I like about this keyboard is the fact that it's water resistant and the construction feels very sturdy and the keyboard actually has a pretty heavy weight to it. I would even go far and say that it weighs as much as my Corsair Strafe. This keyboard is a solid 7. Next up we have my favorite keyboard out of the 5 in this video. This is the Keysan which is a 68 key mini gaming keyboard with only 5 rows of keys. This means that there is a lot of overlapping. Basically the F keys are combined with the number keys up top and then you have the multimedia shortcuts near the bottom. Even the home and end buttons are overlapping with the page up and page down. The base is made out of ABS plastic while the backplate is constructed out of aluminum. But despite the size, this is one sturdy keyboard. I can't quite figure out why I love typing on this so much, even more than my own Corsair Strafe keyboard. Maybe it's the overall footprint or the satisfaction of feedback I get when pressing each key. I mean whatever it is, I really enjoy it. Here's a quick sample.
The negatives about this keyboard are, you probably guessed it, no backlighting, wrist support, numpad, or even a Windows lock key, which I find very odd considering this is labeled as a gaming keyboard. What's more is that it features anti-ghosting but only up to 7 keys. What I love about this keyboard is the compact form factor, build quality, and the feedback and sound from typing on it. It also comes with a detachable USB cable which is perfect for cable management since you can route the cable straight down and through the desk assuming you have a hole in your desk. Furthermore, it comes with a micro USB OTG adapter, meaning you guys can connect this keyboard to your smartphone or tablet if it supports OTG. Overall, this is a solid keyboard and I would definitely recommend this more for people who travel around and want a fully mechanical keyboard to use with their laptops or tablets. From my experience with this keyboard the past week, I'm giving it a solid 8. Last but not least, we have the Red Dragon Kumara that goes for around 40 bucks. This is a backlit keyboard with red LEDs that feature an ABS and aluminum construction. It's actually very similar to the Tomoko keyboard in terms of build quality and the layout of the keys, with the exception of it being backlit. It does feature a Windows lock key, anti-ghosting up to 7 keys, which is nice, but it's lacking a wrist rest and a numpad. I really don't have anything bad to say about this keyboard, for the price it does what it's supposed to, but because it's backlit with red LEDs, I'ma give it one more point than the Tomoko keyboard. The Komoro is an older version of the Red Dragon, so if this keyboard is sold out by the time you're watching this video, I'll drop a link to their new version which is the exact same keyboard but with a newer and cooler design. So that basically wraps up the top 5 keyboards under 50. If you guys enjoy my top 5 series or if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like to show your support. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next video.